Hey there, it's Simon. There's a small little experimental thing that I wanted to share. This is still a work in progress, but I wanted to just show the general idea and maybe somebody else can also make use of this and use it for their own project. So I uh, wanted to experiment a little bit with landscape and uh, terrain erosion effects. And one very straightforward way to do this is using simulation in general. But uh, in Blender, we don't really have a very custom way to simulate based on your own setup. So I thought, why not use geometry nodes for this? And the main drawback with geometry nodes is that it's not an iterative process. It's because it's always procedural, just one big chunk of uh, an algorithm that the mesh runs through, basically. And uh, it's always live, it's always procedural. But uh, something I could do instead would be to implement the geometry nodes modifier as a single step of a simulation and then feed the result back into the input. And that gives you this very nice iterative process of simulating some sort of effect based on a bunch of uh, parameters and heuristics. And yeah, that idea is relatively simple, and it's basically how simulations work in general. But using geometry nodes, it's very nice to uh, control these things. This is what I came up with for now. It's the first implementation. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just look at it, how it works. So it starts out with the bases, and then there's a bunch of points that are generated on the mesh and those are basically flowing down the geometry and slowly but surely creating these creases as they're eroding the terrain by picking up some of the sediment and depositing it somewhere downstream. And as you can see, it's very nice and interactive. I mean, you can't use the viewport and rotate around, but at least you can see the updates as they're coming through which every single step. It does take some time to run through, so I just sped up the footage. But uh, you can see how it's going, and it's quite nice for the first implementation, I think. There's definitely room for improvement in terms of quality, and it's not super fast, so if you wanted to have a higher MS resolution, it would probably be quite slow. Um, but yeah, for the first results, I'm actually quite happy, because just being able to have access to doing your own little simulations with like your own little simulation solver with geometry nodes is actually really cool. And I think uh, I might be able to use this in other places as well. So the general idea with geometry nodes is to support something like this in the future out of the box. But I think it's very cool that right now with a quite small script, you can just have access to this right away, just from within Blender itself. I also made a very simplified setup with just a very basic simulation that is just applying some gravity to the mesh. Um, this is the simplified script to just simulate a single object. It's just copied over from a base object. If you say restart equals true, if you say false, it will just keep simulating on the same object. But otherwise, it's taken from the base. It's right here and then just simulates on top. Let me just run this. Yeah, it's nothing super interesting, just an acceleration downwards from gravity. Uh, you can also add a initial velocity to just have it fly a little bit more interesting, just to have a little bit of an arc. But yeah, it's not the craziest thing. The node setup is relatively simple. Is just propagating a velocity vector that is changed by the gravitational force on each step. You can change the time step around to have it run faster but less accurate or oh, sliding away or slow with smaller time steps.
But the main idea here is that with this script, you can basically make your own little simulation solver if you want to. Basically, the only constraint that you have is whatever you can do with geometry nodes, which at this point is quite a lot, actually. But uh, yeah, this was just a small little experimental thing. And maybe this will evolve into something more interesting with the terrain generation. And then I'll give more updates. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed.